Good afternoon, Stellar Sixes. Thank you for another um, enjoyable and productive day of learning. I really enjoyed dropping in on your breakout rooms this afternoon to talk with the different groups about what you were learning in the gallery walk. So I really hope that you guys found that activity to be enjoyable and worthwhile as well. While we're on the topic of the gallery walk, please remember that the reflection Google form is due by the end of the day tomorrow. So also remember that I linked to the actual gallery at the very top of the form. So you can go um, to the form and click on that link and explore information about more of these 30 accomplished Canadians before you turn in the form um, or go back and read more about one or two of the people that you explored with your partner in your breakout room. Let's move on to what is on tap for tomorrow. It's Friday and we are going to meet as a whole class tomorrow at 9.30. So if 9.30 is not your usual time for meeting, make sure you go and set an alarm now so you don't miss it. So have some fun activities planned for us to do together in the large group. I have office hours scheduled at 10.30 tomorrow, so just remember that's a good time for you to come and check in with me if you have any questions about drawing the graph of a pattern, which is what we worked on this week in math, or anything else relating to patterns and relations um, before we have our unit test on Monday. Um, after that, at 11.15, everyone is invited to join for recess, which will run for 45 minutes and end at noon. I do have something that I would like to say about recess based on how it's gone the past few weeks. Remember that we do need to interact with our, each other in a civil way or else I'm not going to be able to continue to offer breakout rooms during recess or possibly not even offer um a less supervised social time at all. So um, I think what we should do this time is go with a plan so that we don't end up with any conflict arising out of people being disappointed at the options that are available to them. So if you are planning on taking part in recess tomorrow, I invite you to make a comment um, in the stream on this post indicating what kind of activity you're interested in um, so that I can be prepared and set things up and hopefully then we can avoid any kind of conflict before they arise. All right, for today's riddle or puzzle or question, I've got a math trick for you. So um, pay attention as we go along and follow and see if you can figure out why this works. All right, so listen up. I want you all to think of a number. So pick any number you want and think of it. You may want to have a calculator or a piece of paper and a pencil handy to follow along on this, okay? I'll give you a second to do that. All right, think of a number and then multiply it by three, okay? Add six. Now take that number that you have and divide it by three. Are you following? Then subtract the number from step one, from the answer that you just got in step four. So the first step was that first number that you picked. You're going to subtract it from the number that you have now. And I'm going to tell you what your answer will be if you've been doing this correctly. I'm going to go through those steps one more time and tell you the answer. Okay, so think of a number, any number, any number. Less than nine is a little easier for you, but any number. Now, that's step one. Think of a number. Multiply it by three. Okay, that's step two. Take your number times three. That's step two. Now, step three is add six to that number. Okay, you following along with me? Step three is add six. Step four, divide by three. Okay, now take the number from step one that first number you thought of and subtract it from this last number from step four, and the answer will be two. See if you can figure out why that's gonna work all the time, no matter what number you pick in step one. See you tomorrow.